I'm here at Mycoterra Farm looking at their uh, indoor mushroom growing setup. And basically, they have two greenhouses in this uh, concrete uh, poured, used to be an old equine barn. And they put this greenhouse in and are controlling the environmental parameters in the greenhouse. We've got sawdust in here, it's winter, so keeping the sawdust from freezing. And then a nice two, two, or a four yard uh, pack and you've got your mixer. So let's hop into the grow room. Okay. Hop and open. Not too foggy in here, you can hear the fan going. And um, basically with, with growing any uh, gourmet mushrooms, um, there's four parameters that are really important. The first one is CO2. So you have this uh, intake for uh, oxygen at the top, with a blower, you see this blower uh, right here, and then a humidifier. So there's a humidifier coming up and blowing right in front of the blower. So there's a good distribution of mist. And a little extra heat. You see the heat is actually aimed right at the water. Um, so the water gets the heat up and then it's spread throughout the grow room. Um, these are also radiant uh, heating floors. So two or three times a day the uh, floors are sprayed and then uh, water just um, evaporates from the ground. And you see we've got some oysters over here. Um, they've got four markets tomorrow so I've been picking pretty heavily. Um, but some baby oysters, and it's Friday, so you might not pick as much uh, over the weekend. Um, so we've got these, these blues in here, and a little bit of lion's mane uh, right over here, and some chestnut blocks, and nameko down here. Take a look at some of these nameko uh, pinning. So here's some some beautiful namekos, slimy. This is a really slimy mushroom, um, but, but pretty tasty. Uh, so this method of, of growing mushrooms indoors is on uh, supplemented sawdust. So it's a base of sawdust with um, different supplements added in to increase yields. Um, so we've got humidity, uh, which they're doing with that uh, fogger down at the end there. We've got oxygen, we've got temperature with the heater and the radiant floor heating. And then the last thing is lighting. And you can see we have nice lighting in here. Um, it's kind of diffuse lighting and no natural sunlight, um, which is totally fine. Um, mushrooms don't need sunlight, they just need enough light uh, to grow properly for morphological uh, reasons. Um, and here's some nice chestnuts. You can see why they get their name. Uh, especially with the ones on the side here, they look just like chestnuts. They have those little spiky uh, ornamentation on the caps, and as they get older, they kind of lose that ornamentation and just look like a um, regular brown cap and stem mushroom. Um, another really nice thing about this grow room is floor drains. So um, the uh, when they're cleaning, you can see this place is pretty clean, spotless, really. Um, when they're cleaning, they can uh, push uh, all the material down here, let the water drain, and scoop up any uh, excess uh, debris. Um, all the shelving is also on wheels, uh, making it really easy to move around and get a good, clean surface. Um, so again, this is Michael Tara Farm in Deerfield, Massachusetts, um, and this is how they're growing uh, mushrooms indoors.